We're on our way to Galveston, Texas. This is an annual trip that my buddy Kurt here always puts together. So this trip is Shark Attack 2018. Big shout out to Carrie Stoller. Every time I come through Dallas, she's uh, she always opens up her home and uh, it's just always great to see these guys. I've known these guys since high school, so it's awesome to come stay with them. and. Uh, They've just been great friends, so thanks Carrie. Really appreciate you for letting me crash at your house again last night and steal your husband away here for a couple of days to go stand in the ocean and see if we can catch some fish. So thanks Carrie. All right, so we're having lunch at Shrimp and Stuff. Great lunch here in Galveston at Shrimp and Stuff. That was really good. I had the shrimp po' boy, and that was a good sandwich, I'll tell you what. Good job, Kurt, on recommending that. I feel like, I feel like I'm just about to get an education here. I have no idea really what's going on. These guys are talking about floating bait boxes, bait floating bait buckets. Hopefully by a little bit later this afternoon, we'll actually be fishing, so really looking forward to this. Try saying a device name like phone or USB. Main menu. Say a command. Call Zach Potter! You can say a device I name. I did call! CD or radio. Phone is always active, so you can say things like, call John Smith. Main menu. Say a command. Call Zach Potter! <laughs> Apparently it doesn't like shouting. <laughs> <laughs> That was very frustrating. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a great idea to ride on a ferry called Robert H. Deadman. Oh, it's pronounced Deedman? <laughs> sure. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about that. So we're going to set some crab traps. We got some uh, Sanderson Farms chicken necks crabs love. Three traps. We're going to get the kayak which is over there on the beach and uh, take it out to some good water over here. Leave it overnight and hopefully have a uh, crab for dinner tomorrow night. A little assist there. Yeah that'd be great. That's tremendous. <laughs> Good job. Look at the hook set on that too. That's amazing. Right through the lip. <laughs> All yeah, right, we Gary. this guy. Yeah. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> the biggest fish ever. Who made ever caught here? That's a good size. It's got to be at least 15, and it can't be bigger than 25. And you are 22. Man. 22 oh, and two and a half trout. That is. <laughs> Go get the stringer. All right. I got a stringer actually over here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Dude. Red drum or black drum? The red drum has a spot on the tail. They're kind of pinkish. Wow. Got it. Almost. Whoa. And. That's what's called a quick release.
This is where we're staying here. It's called the Barefoot Bungalow. <laughs> a little bit of a shore break today. We got like seven guys on this trip and we have a coffee pot that makes half a cup. But that's better than nothing. Yeah, but if you... How's it going, Zach? So Brian made it last night at like 11 o'clock. So we got everybody here. Here for day two of Shark Attack 2018. So did you guys get toilet paper? Bob, did you buy toilet paper? Is it not actually? Is that not extra? I didn't see any. Oh, this is your problem. Yeah, this could be an it's emergency. Your nice. I'm probably going to have to go to the grocery store. I think we need some TP. Yeah, because yeah, this happened to Sarah. We were in a place like this one time, and there was one roll of toilet paper we didn't know. Are you a prepper? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <We're not laughs> yeah. So Kurt, a prepper is somebody who thinks the world's going to end and there's going to be no toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> so they stockpile like five years of it. Dude, are you, you making an emergency toilet paper roll? It's an emergency, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I, I just took care of some yeah. business. Yeah. And that's, I, I, was like, I was like, oh, there's like eight guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oatmeal and coffee and no toilet paper? Hey, Brad. Hey, has this been recording us the whole time? I don't think so. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe. Uh, how do we delete? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a really good breakfast. I think that sometimes. So are you, Mike. We're on the road. Right. Right. So that was your better right. Yeah. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo, we're heading out to go fish rollover this morning. These guys are going to try live shrimp again, and I'm going to try my fly rod. What do you think? I think this is awesome. All right, well, I was able to catch a few small little uh, gaff top catfish. That was pretty cool though. Went out in Jerry's kayak, past the third sandbar, and we were dropping down shrimp. And they were just hitting like crazy out there, but they were all little bitty things. So, kept one, and now we're gonna move. We just spent our children's college fund on <laughs> on another load of shrimp. It's expensive, man. Sorry, Mackenzie. It's twenty dollars a quart. You can't go to school now. You get live shrimp, twenty dollars a quart, and we bought five. Five. How many have we bought since we got here? We got six. We got four this morning. Five this four afternoon. Four is ten. So fifteen so quarts. That's one hundred and fifty bucks. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Double so it. So six. You bought, we bought nine today, so just today you spent 180 bucks. Oh, right, right. Sorry, yeah. So just today you spent 180, and then what did we buy yesterday? How many, four? I think we got six yesterday. Did we get six or four? I, I think know. we got four. Anyway, I'm sorry so kids, that's you're not gonna be able to go to college another now. 80. You're gonna have to get a job. Two, going long. 60. Try this little guy, this may be the last ditch effort. Nothing on flies yet today.
what we were catching earlier out of in the uh, kayak. Back at the airport now, just getting ready to head back to Albuquerque. Trip was awesome, had such a good time. I just wanted to say a big thank you to Kurt for putting this whole trip together, getting everything organized. And uh, man, all the guys on the trip, it was just so much fun getting to know you guys and fishing with you. So I had a great time. I hope we can get together and do this again, maybe next year. Hey, while I'm thinking of it, I wanted to give a big shout out, while we're giving shout outs, I wanted to give a big shout out to George and Audrey Stoller. You guys are responsible for Kurt being an awesome outdoorsman. He's a little bit OCD also. I mean, check this out. It's got the spreadsheets, groceries, how much money everything costs. It's a three page spreadsheet for the fishing trip. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll catch you next time.